here again, and I wanted to shoot a quick video today from Arms and Armor showing off our new piece. It's an Irish style of axe. This particular piece is based in about 13th century. It's a lightweight piece. It only weighs about 2.4 pounds or so at the, at the heaviest. It has a nice ash haft and is a really great feeling piece in the hand. Very quick, very movable, uh, really flies when you have it in the hands. The halves run in about 52 inches long, so it's got some real reach for it. And when we look at the information we have on these types of pieces from the, the past, and we look at the originals that we base this on, uh, they're very light weapons. Got a chance to go to uh, Dublin a couple of years ago, went to the archeology span museum and was just blown away by the fantastic objects they had. Uh, the original that we're basing this piece on is a very decorated high status ax. It's got some uh, silver uh, kind of inlay or foil attachments that in a geometric pattern on it. And I'll show you a picture of that. But this is uh, just a light, fast, vicious weapon has a, a wonderfully nice sharp edge to it, can really cut. The cutting edge is only about six and three quarters of an inch. Um, and you can kind of recognize the shape. A lot of people would think of this as being a kind of a gallow glass, what they would call ax. Uh, those probably had a tendency to be larger than this. Uh, but this particular one is very much, uh, like I said, based on the original. So it's got a very thin uh, cross section but a uh, very, very agile weapon. Uh, when it's on the half like this, uh, we have some references. Uh, Gerald of Wales in his description, his typography of Ireland, discusses how the, the uh, Irish would fight one-handed with these and swing them with great effect, cleaving into people's helmets and mail shirts and uh, creating havoc all about them. Also, he discusses uh, the quickness of the weapon in a sense that you don't have to draw it from a sheath or pull a bow or anything, but if I have an ax in my hand and I lift it slightly, suddenly I can strike immediately and uh, create uh, uh, a bad experience for my opponent. Um, he also attributes some of that to the nature of the Irish, but we won't get into that today, me being Irish as it were. So, uh, great piece, excellent uh, for moving through time and space, uh, really fast, great cutter. Uh, we're looking forward to having this in our line, and it's the kind of piece that uh, you could carry around with you, it uses a walking stick, as they uh, often probably did back then, according to Gerald, and is the kind of ax that really has a uh, wonderful ethnic origin and is something that is involved very Irish uh, in uh, context. So uh, check it out, uh, look at the website, look at the page, and check the blog post out. I'll have some more info there for you. And uh, if you're looking for a new axe, this might be the one.